Dear friends, for the installation of CDK tools, please follow the following procedure. First you go to Google and type CDK plus GUI. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. We are going to download Graphical User Interface of CDK tools. So, you will get a link like this. In that, you see download. In download, there are three links are available. Among that three links, you download the first links. Okay. We downloaded it and saved on the desktop. It is here. Okay. Now, you see how to open this CDK toolbar and graphical user interface. You can see that when you are clicking the right mouse and open with Java. When you are opening with Java, you can see input options, output options, okay, like this. We want to give the input file here and output file also. And you can change the output formats. Yes, we decide. Okay. Now the first file you want to create is input file. For that, this graphical user interface will only accept SDF format. If you want SDF format, go to Google, type PubMed compound. This is only for training. Type PubMed compound and type benzene. When you are typing the benzene, you will get a structure. See the structure. This is a structure. Click again on the benzene structure. You can see SDF format here. See this. Click on that SDF format. It will get automatically downloaded. Okay. Okay. Now you downloaded the SDF format. Okay. Now the second step is you want to create an output file. It is better to save the output file in text format. For that, take the program, go to accessories, take the text or notepad, save a blank file. Let it be save or benzene. Save and close the file. Now, we are opening the graphical user interface and uploading both files. One, input file. Two, output file. Now, we are ready for the run. Now, you look, go. The descriptors we are going to calculate. Press on the go. It will run. Maybe it will take long time. That depends upon the number of molecules you selected. Okay. Now you got an output file. That is in the text format. You open that file and see. Upper side, you can see the name of the descriptors and lower side, you can see the values of each descriptor. Each log, for example, log P and its value. Take the molecular weight and its value. Directly, you cannot use it directly in the Excel data mining sheet. So we want to convert it into the Excel sheet. For that, 
do one thing go to the program open the microsoft office take the excel open try to open that text file that saved text file from the excel sheet please do like this so you can open it now that text file is opening in the excel format one descriptor at the first line the value at the second line you will get the output values very neatly that is in the first line you will get the na name of the descriptor and in the next row you will get the values so that if you have more than uh, 10000 or 20000 compounds you can submit the values of descriptor for the further analysis thank you very much